The season opener for the Ole Miss Rebels is now less than 48 hours away. Much has been made about the Rebels' inability to stop the run, and it's been a point of focus during fall camp this year. Rebel D ranked bottom 20 in all the country in major statistical rushing defensive stats. And with Memphis's downhill attack, led by 1,000-yard rusher Patrick Taylor Jr., the Rebels know a lot will be thrown at them come Saturday. Oh man, he's a he's a big guy. Runs hard, runs physical, you know. But we got to hit him low, uh, hit him early before he gets going. And you know they're gonna try to run the stretch, run the horn G, run the counters, you know, get us moving, get it moving gaps and stuff. But uh, we're prepared for it. We've been working it every day for the past three weeks, so I think we're pretty prepared. The Mississippi State Bulldogs will be heading to the Bayou for their meeting with Louisiana on Saturday morning. It'll be a homecoming of sorts for cornerback Cam Dantzler, who hails from New Orleans, and he talked about his return home and what he can expect from a raging Cajun team that'll be going up against MSU for a second straight season. Well, my whole family been blowing me up, asking me, hey, can I get a ticket, can I get a ticket? I'm like, well, can you take it to everybody, but I'll try. So the whole family's just trying to come because it's close to home. They try to get the ball out quick, they play fast. Um, they're the type of team that try to you know, get their best players going, so we just got to be um, looking for that, the opening um, kickoff. So, you know, they just a, I feel like they're a screen team. Like, they, you know, like I said, get the ball out quick, try to put the ball in their playmaker's hands. So we just got to be great tacklers and, you know, pursuit to the ball like we always do. The Atlanta Braves came alive offensively on a Wednesday night, winning a slugfest over Toronto 9-4. Braves got big contributions from their usual suspects. Ronald Acuna Jr. had two RBI. Freddie Freeman, two for four with a pair of ribbies. One coming via the home run ball, which gives Freeman 36 on the year. Starting pitcher Mike fulton only gave up two runs, but he only lasted four and two-thirds. Braves have Thursday off. They'll be back in action Friday night at home to take on the White Sox. Max Freed expected to get the start. New Orleans Pelicans forward Darius Miller is expected to miss seven to eight months following a rupture to his right Achilles tendon. Pels announced that Miller had undergone surgery for the injury earlier today. 29-year-old suffered that injury while playing three-on-three -three basketball. Miller averaged just over eight points per game in 69 contests for New Orleans last season. Team USA head coach Greg Popovich said that he knows his Team USA players understand the upcoming World Cup is going to be quite the challenge, but he also believes his guys are up for it. Popovich explained that his biggest challenge is building a team with players who are young, inexperienced, don't know each other, nor have ever played together. You build camaraderie all the time. If it was a regular NBA season, you could be in the 58th game, you're still building camaraderie. Here, you have to do that a little bit quicker, obviously. Uh, but a lot of that depends on character, and their character is high. They understand that they've got a big challenge ahead of them, and they're serious about it. It's been a rough month of August for Lakers center DeMarcus Cousins. First, he tore his ACL. Now an arrest warrant has been issued for Cousins on a misdemeanor domestic violence charge. Cousins' ex-girlfriend and the mother of his 7-year-old son contacted police after Cousins allegedly threatened to put a bullet in her head. That conversation was reportedly recorded by the victim. Police confirmed an arrest warrant was issued for Cousins on a third-degree harassing communications charge. It's a Class A misdemeanor, meaning Cousins could face a maximum of one-year jail time.